I'd consider myself a realist, all right? But in philosophical terms, I'm what's called a pessimist. I think human consciousness was a tragic misstep in evolution. We became too self-aware. Nature created an aspect of nature separate from itself. We are creatures that should not exist by natural law. We are things that labor under the illusion of having a self. This accretion of sensory experience and feeling. Programmed with total assurance that we are each somebody. When in fact, everybody's nobody. I think the honorable thing for our species to do is deny our programming. Stop reproducing. Walk hand in hand into extinction. One last midnight, brothers and sisters opting out of a raw deal. <laughs> What's the point of getting out of bed in the morning? I tell myself I bear witness. The real answer is that it's obviously my programming. It's like we've forgotten who we are now. Explorers, pioneers, not caretakers. When I was a kid, it felt like they made something new every day. Some gadget or idea. Like every day was Christmas. But six billion people. Just try to imagine that. And every last one of them trying to have it all. Well, we used to look up in the sky and wonder at our place in the stars. Now we just look down worry about our place in the dirt. I want it to be over and done with. I do. I'm tired, boss. Tired of being on the road, long as a spell in the rain. I'm tired of never having me a buddy to be with, to tell me where we's going to, coming from, or why. Mostly, I'm tired of people being ugly to each other. I'm tired of all the pain I feel and hear in the world every day. There's too much of it. It's like pieces of glass in my head all the time. See, we all got what I call a life trap. It's gene-deep certainty that things will be different, that you'll move to another city and meet the people that'll be the friends for the rest of your life that you'll fall in love and be fulfilled like in fulfillment <laughs> and closure where the fuck those two fucking empty jars to hold this, this shit storm like nothing's ever fulfilled until the very end and closure no 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 nothing is ever over I've seen the finale a thousand times, man. Young, old. Each one is so sure of their realness. You know, that their, their sensory experience constituted a unique individual. Purpose. Meaning. So certain that they were more than a biological puppet. Truth wheels out, everybody sees. Once the strings are cut off, all down. But now they saw for the very first time how easy it was to just let go. And they saw in that last nanosecond, they saw what they were. That you, yourself, this whole big drama, it was never anything but a jerry rig of presumption and dumb will. And you could just let go. You finally know that you didn't have to hold on so tight. To realize that all your life, not all your love, all your hate, all your memory, all your pain, it was all the same thing. It was all the same dream, a dream that you had inside a locked room. A dream about being a person. In eternity, where there is no time, nothing can grow, nothing can become, nothing changes. So death created time to 
grow the things that it would kill. And you are reborn, but into the same life that you've always been born into. If the only thing keeping a person decent is the expectation of divine reward, then brother, that person is a piece of shit. Transference of fear and self-loathing to an authoritarian vessel. It's catharsis. He absorbs their dread with his narrative. And because of this, he's effective in proportion to the amount of certainty he can project. Certain linguistic anthropologists think that their religion is a language virus that rewrites pathways in the brain, dulls critical thinking. And that is a terrible and a secret fate of all life. You're trapped. Like a nightmare you keep waking up into.